Hello everyone, Darkblane here, back playing some more AFK Arena. And in this video, I want to look at the Misty Valley Treasure Trove because they added the five new slots down here. So yeah, I just want to go ahead and take a look at all these slots and just show which uh, rewards I'm going to get from here. Okay, I'm going to start with this first one in the corner. Uh, it gives you your uh, basic resources here. I'm going to choose the Essence. I'm always needing Essence on my main account. Uh, the second one, 1,000 diamonds, 30,000 of the hero coins, or, and uh, 400 of the uh, Twisted Essence. I'm going to go with the Twisted Essence here, because yeah, I'm, I'm also always needing Twisted Essence on this account. The third one is the 60 Elite Soul Stones, or 720 Rare Soul Stones. I always like to go for the Elite Soul Stones, because you can get the main four faction heroes from here. You can get... Celestial and Hypogean heroes from here, and you can also even get fodder from here. So, the, I, the only ones you can't get are Dimensionals, and you can't get the common heroes from these Elite Soul Stones. So yeah, yeah uh, from the Rare Soul Stones, you can only get uh, the Rare Heroes, but from here you can get everything, in almost everything, including the Rare Heroes from here as well. And the fourth one... 60 Elite Soul Stones, 5 Normal Scrolls, and 1,000 Poe Coins. Once again, I'm going to go for the 60 Elite Soul Stones, based on the reasoning I had with the third one, and also uh, 5 Normal Scrolls that doesn't even give you a full 10 pull summon. And the same thing with the Poe Coins, the 1,000 Poe Coins. You need 3,000 Poe Coins to get a 10 pull furniture summon. So yeah, I, I feel like the 60 Elite Soul Stones is the best option. And the fifth one... You have your emblems and again a thousand poke coins. I'm gonna go for the red chest emblems because those ones I feel are the most valuable. Yeah, getting uh, heroes plus 30 signature item is very good. Uh, the sixth one here, you have tier one, tier two, and tier three stones, and again a thousand poke coins. I'm gonna go for the tier three stones because once again the poke coins I don't think is worth it. You get poke coins every day, so yeah, I don't feel like the poke coins are worth it. And with the tier 1 and tier 2 stones, I actually get a tier 1 and tier 2 gear from the AFK rewards sometimes because of the uh, yeah, because of the field of stars. So yeah, I, I don't really need tier 1 or tier 2 stones now. So yeah, the tier 3 stones I feel are the best option for me since I, I definitely still need tier 3 stones. And the seventh one, have your emblems. You have elemental shards and a thousand poke coins. I'm gonna go for the red chest for this one. Yeah, I, I would normally either go for the elemental shards or the red chest, depending on what I think I need. But this time, I'm gonna go for the red chest because I want I want to get Baba Yaga. I want to get her plus thirty signature item. So yeah, that that's really the main reason I'm gonna go for the red chest is for Baba Yaga's signature item. Uh, the eighth one. 60 Elite Soul Stones, 5 Normal Scrolls, and 1,000 Poe Coins. Once again, just like the two up here, I'm going to go for the 60 Elite Soul Stones. Uh, this one is a very interesting one. You get to choose uh, really any of the four faction heroes from here. You get a, co a free copy from here. I like to scroll all the way down to one of the newest heroes that we have, which this time I'm going to go for a star. I could go for Scarlet. But yeah, I'm looking to get a star ascended here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm go for a star. Uh, the eighth, or the tenth one, I mean. Uh, you have elemental cores, uh, your your uh, emblems, and you have a thousand poke coins. Once again, I'm gonna go for the red chest emblems, just maximizing uh, my red chest there. Uh, this one, you have your emblems and 200 elemental cores. Once again, I'm going to go for the red chess. And this one, you have your elemental cores, 2,000 poke coins and 200 twisted essence. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go for the twisted essence. And yeah, just like I said, you get poke coins every day. And yeah, you, you can get the elemental cores if you want, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to go for the 200 twisted essence with this one. And with this one, again... Uh, elemental shards and your uh, emblems. I'm gonna go for the red red chests. Uh, this one, once again, you have your elemental cores, your poke coins, and your twisted essence. I'm gonna go for the twisted essence. 
getting those levels on the Elder Tree uh, will be very nice. This one you have your Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 stones again, and you have 2,000 Poe Coins. Uh, just like this one, I'm going to go for the Tier 3 stones, getting uh, two Tier 3 stones with that one. Okay, the, those are the first three rows, and we finally are with the new rewards. These, these five are the newest addition to the treasure trove. So first we have uh, we're, we have the straight up emblems here, and it looks like they're giving us 15 of the red chests instead of 10. So they're giving us slightly more red chests, which is always good, getting five extra red chests. And the second one here, we, we're giving the choice of elemental shards or elemental cores. I feel like the elemental cores you get less of, so I'm going to go for the elemental cores with this one. Now the next one I do not have unlocked, unfortunately, because I'm not far enough into the campaign. Uh, here's the first one here. You get 10 Stargazer cards, 15 uh, Faction Scrolls, and 20 Normal Scrolls. Yeah, I, that's, that's, that's a very nice selection there. I think I would probably go for the uh, Stargazer cards because I'm always looking for the Celestial and Hypogean heroes. And you have to complete Chapter 39 to unlock this. Uh, this one you have to complete uh, chapter 40, I believe, and you get 3,000 Poe Coins and 300 Twisted Essence. Now they're giving us enough Poe Coins here to get a 10 pull, which makes me, which makes this this one even more tempting. But yeah, I think if I had this one unlocked, I might just go for the, the uh, Twisted Essence stealth, because the Twisted Essence, I feel, is more valuable than the Poe Coins. And uh, yep, you have to complete chapter 40. And the final one here that they added, Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 stones, and another 2,000 Poe Coins. So this, this one I would definitely again go for the Tier 3 stones. So they would be giving us not one, not two, but three Tier 3 stones from here, which that is very nice uh, to get. To get three extra Tier 3 stones from here a month would be amazing, but unfortunately I have to complete Chapter 41, and yeah, uh, Lilith nerfing the campaign is making uh, the, the process of me going through the campaign a lot faster, but yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'll be making it through the next three chapters in the next month. We'll just have to see what happens, but yeah, for now I just have uh, these three left to unlock. And yeah, there's the all the rewards there, and as soon as I complete the 20 stages, I can claim all the treasure trove rewards. That I have selected here. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. There'll be a button above my head that will allow you to do that. And if you want to see some more of my other videos, there'll be some videos to the left of your screen. And thanks for watching.